Hey guys, so in this video, I will show you how to make a security alarm system using Innobrake, Scratch, and a torch. It's easy for kids and students to do, and it's very interesting. So, this kind of security system can easily be found in art museums, which is used to alert people to stay away from the art painting. We can build a similar system with the use of a light sensor component. So, this is a light sensor whose resistance will change accordingly with light intensity. So, let's take a look. So, I've plugged the sensor to inner brakes port A. So, you can see there's a reading coming out. Right now, it's about H to 9. So, if I use my hand to cover the sensor, you can see that the reading is getting higher and higher. While if I use a torch, to shine directly, you can see that the reading is getting very small. So actually, I can do some programming to the scratch cat, such that when there is anything blocking the sensor, then the cat will say something. So let's see the demo. So I noticed that when I cover the sensor with a hand, the reading of A will be above 30. So I add a condition to this program that if the reading of A is greater than 30, then this cat would mail and say that don't cover my eyes, otherwise it would say what a sunny day, right? Okay, so let's start the program. So now um, the license is not covered by anything so that the cat would say what a sunny day. And when I cover it with a hand, oh, it will mail. Okay, so it's very easy to design a program that uses the light sensor. So now let's get to the more difficult parts to design a more sophisticated system. Okay, so once you get used to the light sensor and how it works, you can start building more sophisticated security system. For example, you can mount the light sensor using some Lego bricks so that it is pointed directly to the torch. And this system is built in front of the treasures, just like this one, that you don't want anybody to touch it. Okay, so um, on the programming side, you could build some slick interface and set the programming so that the alarm will be triggered whenever anything is blocking the light path. Okay, so let me make the demonstration. Okay, so before the system is done, make sure that the torch is on and is pointing directly to the light sensor. Okay, so I start the system. Okay, so you hear the sounds, pretty cool, huh? So uh, the system has been initiated and it is in normal state. And whenever someone want to touch the treasure like this, oh. So you can see that the alarm is triggered. So let me do it again. Okay, it's in normal state. And I try to touch it. Oh, alarm is triggered again. So one thing to know is that this alarm can only be turned off by manually clicking the reset button. Okay, so um, this is a brief description of uh, the security system and hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you.